So I think that when people are thinking about sex work laws, um, they should really think very deeply about are, are, are we listening to sex workers? You know, are sex workers being listened to? Are we hearing what they're saying? Are we respecting what they're saying about what they would like to happen um, in relation you know, to their work? Um, and also, are we pursuing laws that make us feel more comfortable, but perhaps have a negative impact on sex workers? Um, should instead we actually be um, taking ourselves um, out of our own personal comfort zone and maybe undoing some of the beliefs that we've had that contribute to how we think about sex work. So how people think about gender, how people think about religion, how people think about sex, all of that impacts how people think about sex work and it shapes um, their view. And so in order to think differently, um, people need to be willing to step outside um, of you know, their own comfort zone and to ask themselves some quite difficult questions about, well, why do I think this way about sex work? Um, so I would say that, yeah, anyone who has an opinion, and people inevitably do have opinions about sex work, it's one of these very emotive topics, um, should really be asking themselves some quite deep questions about where do my views come from? Um, am I listening to sex workers? If I'm not listening to sex workers, why? Um, you know, and what's the impact of that?